no, no! Hey, yo, what's poppin', party people? I'm that one dude, Chris, from YouTube, and welcome back to. Fuck it. Hey, yo, what's poppin'? Party people? I'm that one dude, Chris, from YouTube, and welcome back to Fierce to Fathom. This is the most recent episode. This is the Carson House. We played through episodes one and two, uh, uh, Home Alone and Norwood Hitchhike. Um, I know nothing about this. I haven't seen anybody play it. I haven't seen any spoilers for it. All I know is that it is the Carson House. Um, it should be good. The estimated uh, playtime is about an hour. So, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm not gonna talk your ear off. Let's just hop right into this shit. All right. This game did get a little bit of an update, um, because we have saved games now. So, hopefully, if we die, we don't have to start from the very beginning anymore. September 24th. My name is Noah. I'm a 28-year-old man from the Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18. But I remember this incident like yesterday, as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day, he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me that the man would pay me $100 just to watch his house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer, as I had nothing interesting going on for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I, wouldn't, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. God damn! Starting off like this. Also, look at this game! It got a... This game got an upgrade! This game... This game got an upgrade! Alright, that is loud in my ear though. Alright, let me look around for a bit. Nothing about the restroom? That's fine. I hope that if there is a cart... Whoa, nope, not doing that. Nope, 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 not doing that. I hope that if there is a car driving section, it's a bit better than it was in um, Norwood Hitchhike. Because driving that car sucked. Can I play this? I can't even play the arcade game. Super Void. Alright, I guess we have to go down this dark, scary, employees-only hallway. Never once... I'm gonna keep that open. Never once in my life have... I said I'm gonna keep that open. I can't even go back! What the fuck? This is a dream. This has to be a dream. Why am I sprinting? Why am Why am I sprinting? Hey. Hey. There was a notice at the beginning of the game that all music uh, is free, copyright free. Bleach? Excuse me? Where did you put it? What is this place? Who are you? Where did I put it? Uh, first of all, what is this place? Where is the bleach? I need bleach! What even is this place? Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I said I need bleach! Noah? Noah? Nap time's over. We're here. We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Noah, wake up. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Noah, wake up. You still think you can do this? How long did I doze off for? I got, uh, I got this, Dad. Roy called and said the keys should be under the fake rock. Got it. 
He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. I heard you first time, Dad. Okay, now get your ass to work. Hope you know I'm only doing I'm only in it for the snacks. Yeah, Dad, I'm only in it for the snacks. Piss off, Dad. It was a nice neighborhood. Damn, couldn't even stick around and make sure I made it into the the house? It's horrible. Alright, where's this fake rock at? That's not it. Fake rock? Fake rock? Dog? See the crotch? Oh, there's a dog. Hi! Hi! You're so adorable! I hope nothing bad happens to you while we're playing. Oh, are you gonna follow me now? Ah, uh, you're just walking. Where's this rock? The fake rock was by the old doghouse. Where? I didn't see a fake rock. Oh, by the old doghouse. Ah. Fake rock key. Got it. Nailed it. Alright. For shizzle. For shizzle. Cool. Where's the water at? Let me get some of that. Ugh. Can I drink it? I don't even know what this is. Uh, whoops. Didn't mean to grab that. I really had to pee. Okay. Say no more. I'll find you a bathroom. We can, uh... We can release our bodily fluids. Oh. Nice. Kind of wish my studio looked like this. But pop off, I guess. Do not disturb for any reason. <laughs> I actually have a sign outside of my recording studio. Whoa, nope, 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 nope. Unless the bathroom is downstairs, which, fuck this place, is the only bathroom in the house is downstairs in the basement. Uh, rail was too lazy to model the garage. <laughs> That's great. Um, yeah, there's no reason for us to go downstairs uh, for any reason. Right now, at least. I realize the house is bigger than ours. Yeah. I mean, he is COO of a company. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just streaming it like this? Okay. Put the seat down. Don't forget to flush. Uh, wash your hands. Wa no, wash your hands. I'm not pulling my phone out until I wash my fucking hands. What did I just grab? Wash your hands, bitch! Oh my goodness. Alright, whatever. Uh, okay. Evelyn Cooper. This school is full of assholes! I know, right? But I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think you're either. Let me call you in a bit. Pick up! I really wish we... Stop texting me! I'm trying to read. Stop! Stop! Hey. Okay. Uh, I really wish you could come tonight. Me too. Things you do to keep your old man happy. You know, I haven't been in a... You know, I haven't been a good kid to him. If your dad doesn't think you're a good kid, I don't even want to know what mine thinks about me. Rolling on the floor laughing. Fuck, dude. Uh, Mr. Carson, I'm going to block your number if you keep texting me while I'm trying to read this message from who I assume is my girl. Uh, stop fucking Mr. Carson. I just think I really disappointed him with Kara. Not again, Noah. You have to stop beating yourself up about it. Wait, did that bitch call you again? I just can't help but feel stupid. Uh, what happened? It wasn't your fault, period. Mr. Carson, I swear on my fucking Converse. I don't own Converse, I own Vans. I swear on my fucking Vans. I gotta read fast, apparently. Anyways, you got uh, some making up to do. The grudge 
next weekend. Wink, wink. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred percent. Wink, wink. Smiley heart. Uh, happy heart. This little baby. I'm honestly jealous of Ava rolling on the floor laughing. I know, right? Just had this weirdest dream ever. Hey, baby girl. My caps lock is on. Baby girl, come slide through. I got this nice uh, house all to myself. Yeah. All right, now let's see what the fuck Mr. Carson keeps talking about. Thanks for taking up the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early. Mr. Carson? My bad. It's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Ha ha ha. He's my dad. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke? Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him in the house. Now that I'm here, uh, you have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. You're a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you it's his dinner time. If you could get him some dog food from the basement. Right on it. No. Nope. No. I'll... I I'll walk my ass to the, to the, um, I'll walk myself to the store and, oh my God, is this the, be uh, the guest bedroom? This is a nice ass guest bedroom if this is the case. Um, yes? Hello? Why did the music get like that? Yeah, I'll take, I'll walk myself to the grocery store to buy some dog food before I go in the basement. Couldn't open it from there. Yeah, this house is way bigger than it should be. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Am I gonna need to hide in here at some point? Dude, what the fuck? Mr. Garden's office looked a good. Look like a good spot I could sit down in to do my homework. Uh, yeah, but I gotta go feed the doggo, so. Yeah, this game got a bit of an upgrade. I'm liking, I'm feeling. I like ye. Basement. Basement, basement. The basement was a little too dark. Uh, oh my gosh, this, wait, hold on. Oh my gosh. This is a basement model that like a lot of video games use. I, I tried to play like a horror game before um, that I had bought on Steam. Uh, hold on, I'll tell you the story in just a second. Almost forgot. I apologize for those lights in the basement. You can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. It's no problem. Whew. Thank goodness you have a store or a flashlight because I was not going down there. That's a lie. I would have gone down there. I'm not a bitch about it. Um, where's the storage room again? Storage room. Storage room. Flashlight. Storage room. Flashlight? Ah, there we go. Alright. Just in case this thing has a uh, battery, I am not going to waste it. I'm going to save it for when I absolutely need it, which is right now. But yeah, this... Why is the music doing that? Dog food? Dog food? Dog food? Dog food. Dog food. Alright. We got the dog food. We're gonna go upstairs and feed little Ezekiel. Turn that off. Save some power. Uh, is this the back of the house? Nope, that's the front. The ambiance. They're really trying with this ambiance. My goodness! Calm down! Had to open the can. What? Dude. Uh, can opener? Can opener. Right? Can opener? Can opener? That is a can opener, right? Okay. Interesting way to do it. Not gonna question it. Just gonna go about my business. 
with the loud ambient noises. Oh, Ziki! Come get your foodie woody. <laughs> I don't like that. Go get your food, boy. Go get your food. Go get your food. Go get your food. That's right. Go get your food. Go get your food. Oh, good boy, Ziki. Good. My nose itches. Good boy, Ziki. Hopefully, I don't need to go back down there anymore. Uh, I'm going to go upstairs and do my homework. Maybe. Hey, kid. Heard the Walter. Heard from Walter you're a computer whiz, huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately, and my whole security system is tied to it. Oh, yeah. You got a whole security system set up here? I know... I know what room that's in. That's this room, right? Had a lot of experience, uh, a lot of exp expensive equipment lying, laying around. Don't want anything to happen to it. Yeah, I understand. I'll just take a look at the computer. Thanks, kid. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. Uh, Mr. Carson, what is your password? Mr. Carson? Yo, bitch. What's... What's the password? Al Carson 5387. Al Carson 5387. Al Carson 5387. Ah! Slow ass computer. I guess I'll just sit and wait. Maybe? Did I break the game? Alright. There we go. This is where we were supposed to be. Uh... Internet browser. Free trial for limited period. Nah. You know what we really came here for. <laughs> Bruh. Fine. Don't let me search it. System has entered a critical error. Guide to being a what? Egg.exe. Okay. Okay, so the internet browser works. Hmm. Um, guide to being a better person. Okay. Tell me about how to be a better person. By Alec Carson. In this video, we will be covering how to talk like a better person. Feel free to take a break whenever needed. Don't be rude. Easy number one. Easy step. Being rude will discourage people. Uh... Sorry, it appears that something is wrong with the broadcast. In the meantime, enjoy some happy images. Oh, I don't think I want to. Okay. That's cute. That's cute or whatever. Remain calm in any conversation. Mm-mm. Okay. I can't skip ahead. I guess we just have to watch through. I was getting very uncomfortable though. Okay, remain calm in any conversation. Very simple. Hello. 
Now, even though what he said was con con controversial, did you stay calm? The secret to being calm is to not let your feelings interfere with the conversation. Being calm, it makes you a better person. Okay, great, great. That's all we have for today. Cool. Okay, no jump scares, please. No jump scares. All these people made this? Okay. Um. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Your children catch colds, your computer catches virus. What if I click on it? Fix, clean, and speed up your PC. Definitely don't do this, especially not on anybody else's computer. If you get a weird link like this from Google, do not click on this. I'm only doing, <laughs> I'm only doing it because it's a video game. Uh, perform full scan. One threat found. Okay. The last time I was on a computer in a video game, I got hella jump scared. And you look very much like a stranger. Uh, I can't move. <laughs> Three, four, uh, five threats found. Six. Security threat. Um, risk high, infected. Remove. Definitely don't do this on anybody else's computer. Because this is probably not safe. Program can't start because it's still missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the program to fix it. Huh? Tell that to my kid. Uh, wait, it's done. Uh, it was just some Trojan. I'd recommend you only download softwares from trusted websites. Tell that to my kid, but thanks. I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. Hey. Okay. Evelyn texted back. Hold on. Mm, I don't like that basement shot. All right. Okay. Oh, what country is this? Uh, I do not know my countries. Is that incorrect? I don't even know what that is. That's, uh, that's, that's Israel. Yep, 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 okay. Mm, Malaysia. Fuck. Mm, that's Xbox. <laughs> no, that's game theory. That's... Oh. Alright, I'm gonna stop before I make myself look dumber than I already am. What's, uh, what's Evelyn talking about? Ooh, what was it about? Weird, reminds me of... I didn't tell her anything. Weird, reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on channel 10 last night. By the way, the rerun must be on, right? Now we gotta watch it with me. Uh, wait, that plays out of TV, right? Haha, <laughs> yeah, hold on. Okay. Okay. Uh, turn that flashlight off. We don't need to waste that battery now. Did I open this? I don't remember opening that. Actually, hold on. Wait, 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 real quick. Wait. Gotta check the, uh, check the security cameras. Oh, it's got night vision. Hell yeah. Okay, nothing out of the norm right now. Zeke is still eating his food. Don't know how long it takes a dog to eat their food, but okay. All right, so far everything looks normal. So far everything looks a-okay. For now. For now. So I think I saw a TV in the guest bedroom. Can I turn on a light in here? Hello. Absolutely not. That is not a TV show I want to watch. Don't know if that was the one that Evelyn was talking about. Um, but no. Mr. Carson's bedroom had this weird smell. I could, I could watch TV downstairs. Okay. Who are all these weird pictures of? 
Why do you have them, Mr. Carson? Why? I love to be cat, cat food? It's my favorite dish. It's super enjoyable and healthy. It's my favorite dish. <laughs> that just looks delicious. No, it doesn't. We can't eat this. It's raw. So first, we are going to gently pour the cat food onto this conveniently placed pan on a stove. Why do you guys watch this? Why is this something that you guys... Jeffrey really just be Jeffrey sometimes. Hey, you know what? Evie, Eve, Eve, Ev, Evelyn, it be like that sometimes. Jeffrey just be like, uh, just be Jeffrey. How is this not canceled? We dip the cardboard into the mill. Uh, also, I think you should get the groceries before it gets dark outside. There's some cash in my nightstand. Uh, ranch. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Why didn't you get this before? Oh, I'm on it, Mr. Carson. We can finally serve it. This looks. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn that off before I summon some demons. Um. Wait. He said there's some cash in his nightstand. Okay. I don't know why they watch that. That is not a TV show that I would want to watch. Oh God, I hate these ads. Yeah, sorry, I had to stop watching TV. Sorry, Eve. Uh, I think I gotta run. This dude's on my ass right now. Wants me to get groceries in the middle of the night. Yeah, I do think that that is kind of weird. It's kind of weird. No, but you're missing the best part. I don't think I am. I don't think that I am. For your trouble, get something for yourself as well. It's on the house. Thank you. Wait. Let me make sure I've closed all the doors. Oh, that's a bathroom too. I don't know why I didn't use the bathroom down here. You can take Alex's bike. Uh, it's outside the garage. Cool, cool, cool. Just making sure that uh, all your doors are locked, Mr. Carson. We don't want anybody breaking in. Ah, Alex bike. I'm going to take this flashlight with me. Okay. Bit better driving mechanics. Uh, which way is the grocery store? Very weird, not gonna lie. Very weird. 9.22 p.m. This is not a... Meow. Nux? I'm shopping at Nux. Nux if you bucks convenience store. Hey, what's good, Tony? Margaret, you don't look a day over 72. Hey, son, do you work here? I'm just here to shop. Ha, ah, okay, son. Uh, why? My son likes mustard. I came here looking for it, but I can't find it for the life of me. Do you know where it is? Uh, hold on, let me get it for you. I think they're out of mustard. Let me get it for you. Oh, how nice of you. I'll be right over here. Is this? Uh, this is mustard, ma'am. Very well, there it is. <laughs> Thank you, son. I got an achievement. I'm helper. I'm hamburger helper. Hey, what's good, Bridget? How we doing? Tony, Andrew, and speak of the devil, Turner and Andy. I almost had their names right. Tony and Andrew? Yo. <laughs> Uh, what you doing? 
Hey, baby girl, don't worry about what I'm doing. Turner and Andy, what are you guys doing here? Bro, your girl was here. She just left. My girl? My girl? What was her name? Kara or something? Aw, oh, fuck you. Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh, yeah. He hopped to that other chick so, that I, so quick I didn't even realize. Hey, bro. Get out of my ear singing, Bridget. I'm not going to tell you twice. Don't listen to him. But, dude, she bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing this, like, I think she's throwing, like, a party or something. You know anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. MILF energy, bro. <laughs> Not the MILF energy. Ew, I think she's more of, like, a goth. Goth and MILF energy. Are you guys done? When will you grow up, Turner? Are you guys done? Because, I mean, that's the kind of jokes I would make, so. Fuck it. Anyway, dude, what are you up to tonight? Uh, just chilling. How's sitting for this guy? Uh, just chilling. You should come with us, dude. We're going to the movies after this. I have to house sit for this guy Carson tonight. You mean at Alex? He's go he goes to school with my sister. Her kid's a real weirdo, especially since his parents split up. Yeah, you guys have fun. Uh, whatever fills my pockets, I'm in for. All right, dude. See you at school on Monday then. Uh, I'll see you around, Andy. Doing that voice hurt my voice. Back in high school, Turner was a class clown. He was also very popular for his Zeus bag pranks he'd pull on other kids. Loki, I didn't like the guy. I didn't hate him either. We just never shared the vibe. <clears throat> okay, wait. What do I need again? I need ranch. Uh, so I'm going to get one item at a time. I'm not going to try to... Real... That's mayonnaise. Ranch. Um, can I get a cart? Or a basket? Strawberry jelly. Boom, got it. Choco spread for Alec and milk and eggs. Choco spread, choco spread, choco spread, choco spread, choco spread. Choco spread. Choco spread? Milk and honey. Or milk and eggs, not honey. Does it matter what kind of milk? Uh, I guess not. Eggs. Eggs should also be in the cold section. But I do not see them. I do not see eggs. I found the eggs. Uh, we also need garden peas and honey. I did pass the honey. I know where that's at. Tell me why I'm grocery shopping for somebody. Well, he did say that I could get whatever. He's a cool dude. Let me chill out. He's a cool dude. Uh, garden peas. Where would I find garden peas? Garden peas. Garden peas. Got him. My basket is flying everywhere. Ah, yes. <laughs> basket physics in the in the future, everybody. Uh, rice, Uncle Tony's only. Okay, okay, all right. Good shit, good shit. Rice. Rice, 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 rice. Uncle Tony's rice, rice. Hey, Pat Pats. I'm not gonna lie, Bridget kind of has that singing voice. I know I told her to shut up earlier, but like, she got that, that singing voice. Uncle Tony's, Uncle Tony's, got it, got it, got it. I can pay attention. Ketchup, don't forget milk and eggs. <laughs> I already got it. Okay, so the last thing we need is the ketchup. And then he told me I can get something for myself. And I already know what I'm going to get. I got to get me some of that instant ramen. Yes, sir. All right, this is all I want. That looks heavy, kid. Should I bill all that for you? Uh, Mr. Carson didn't leave enough money for me to buy extra stuff. What do you mean? He told me I could buy, get something. Wait, what? For your trouble, get something for yourself as well. It's on the house. He told me, he told me I could. No. Wait, how do I put? No. I am so sorry. Somebody has to clean this up afterwards. I am so sorry. Yes, please. Uh, thanks for shopping at Nuck if you buck. Uh, you have a good night. Thank you, sir. I now have to ride a bike back to the house with a bag in my hand. Okay, that's convenient. Can I go shopping at any of these other stores?
Nope. That's fine. It's just to fill the space, which I understand, you know? I've thought about getting into video game design before. I get how difficult it can be. So make the environment look full. I don't even remember where the house is. Wait, where's the house? I had to pee again and I was starting to feel a little hunger around that time. Uh, where's the house? And I still had schoolwork to do. I think this is it. Oops, so sorry. So sorry about your mailbox. So sorry. Oh! Uh, yeah, yeah, this is it, this is it, this is it. This is it, right? Okay. We made it. Is this Roy? Is that, uh, is that Roy? Well. Thought I'd get some homework done. Can I, like... I'm pretty sure I should... Like I said, I had to get schoolwork done for Monday. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the groceries on the floor. That's where they belong, after all. Hold up, can I get my flashlight back? Hey, hey. Hey, uh, uh, Mr. Carson? Can I get my flashlight back? Well, where's the flashlight? I'm not a huge fan of not having a flashlight on me. First, before we get comfortable, check our cameras. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Nothing suspicious going on in the basement. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Alright, nothing suspicious going on so far. We are A-OK. -okay. Let's get some homework done. Oh, I just really had to pee first. Got it. I understand. Totally. Sometimes when you gotta go, you gotta go. When you got to go, you got to go. You know what I'm saying? Super saying. Close the door. I'm not a monster. I'm missing! I'm completely missing the toilet! Oh, no! This is actually really gross. It's actually disgusting. Okay. Now for the homework. Sounds like it's starting to storm outside. <laughs> Good thing I have a roof over my head. Whoa, hello. Andy Reynolds. Dude, you said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now. Oh, stop, Siri. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> she was actually about to search up Roy Carson. Okay. Uh, my mic is in the way. Roy Carson divorce. Roy Carson co-founder of BN Media claims to be receiving death threats from angry fans of his ex-wife. Oh, shit. This is 2009? Whatever, it's 2009. Roy Carson, ex-wife, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Hunter News. It's not unusual for audience uh, to be nosy about some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. He see, we see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO and co-founder of BN Media. After his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alice Alyssa Brown Carson has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown for the rumored I infidelity that underwent within the said relationship. Okay. Alright. Sources say Carson has had people knocking on his door uh, to confront him. Alyssa hasn't been very... Oh, whoa. Someone was at the front door. It looks like a delivery man, which I didn't order anything. Hey, 
Hang on, can you let me finish reading this? Alyssa... Alyssa hasn't been very vocal about the situation yet, but Hunter News is actively trying to reach out to her, so you, the reader, stays updated. Okay. Alright. I will get up and check the front door now. Since you want me so heavily to check this front door, I will do it. I didn't order anything, but okay. I'm not supposed to answer the door for anybody. Who is it? Your delivery for your medium size uh, from Pizza D Depot, sir? I didn't order any pizza. You must be at the wrong address. This is 220... 224 Boulevard, right? That's correct. It's ordered by the name of... Um... Roy Carson? Yeah, nah, fam. You're good. You're good. You're good. Nah, fam. Why can't I just do my homework? Someone was at the front door and I couldn't have worked like that. Nah, fam. My man won't go away. So, is it... It's Alyssa that's getting death threats from... No, he's getting death threats from Alyssa's fans, right? Please open the door, sir. Do you want me to cancel the order? Do you want me to cancel the order? Are you there, sir? What do I... Do I open the door? Okay, I'm gonna open the door. I'm gonna open it! No, close it, close it, close it, close it, close it. Close it. Okay, okay, alright, okay. That's cool. We opened the door. We opened the door. That's cool. There was nobody there. The phone will ring and there will be nobody there. You crack me up, Squidward. He's still there. Why is he still there? Can I do my homework, though? He's not, like, knocking at the door. Ah, there we go. Oh, engrossment. I'm very engrossed in my homework right now. Very invested. Hey, I got my homework done. 1.36 a.m. While I was in the middle of my schoolwork, the power went out. Uh, no. Hey, how are you? Uh, what did you have for dinner? Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You are being very immature right now. Fine, if you are going to be like that, I don't need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter anyways. Uh, okay, this is clearly my stalker ex-girlfriend. In the moment, I was almost certain that it had to be another prank by Turner. But what if it's not? What if it's not? What was her name? Um, Kara? Kara? Besides him and Andy were the only people who knew I was house-sitting alone. What is that? What is that? Okay, alright, alright, fine. I'll get up, I'll get up, I'll get up. Can we turn this stupid-ass alarm noise off? I don't like this. I do not like being in the dark. Zeke, what are you barking for? It was suddenly very cold outside. Okay. That's fantastic. What does that have to do with me?
Uh, okay. I got roses. Cool. From who? Zeke, what are you barking for? All right, turn the power back on. I don't care. Just get, just get the power back on. I turned the power back on. Fantastic. Great. Amazing. I could tell someone had cut the power off from outside. It had to be Turner. He was really starting to piss me off. Where did my flashlight go, number one? You'd say we'd stay friends. You said we'd stay friends. Turner, this is not funny. I know it's you. I don't think it's Turner, buddy. Turner wouldn't send you flowers. I had to get back to my schoolwork for Monday. Sounds good. Not a problem. Totally fine with that. Not a problem at all. Check our cameras first. There's movement detected. Where is the movement being detected? Alright, quit lying to me. You're just getting me all rustled up. Ah, oh, I'm so engrossed in my homework. I sure hope nothing spoops me while I'm in... I'm engrossed. I had a strange gut feeling about the situation. Like what? What do you mean, buddy? Like what? Like what? It might sound stupid, but now I just feel like I don't want to overthink. Okay. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, hey, hey. I heard something downstairs. I had to go look. Okay. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Check your cameras. Check your cameras. Check your cameras. This just turned into Five Nights at Freddy's all of a sudden. There was somebody over there! I could swear on my life I didn't turn that oven on. Yeah, we should probably we should probably do something about that. Before the house explodes. I had to go down and check. We should we should go do something about the oven? Like ASAP. Okay. Alright. Low key, it made me very uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. I had to confront him. What do you mean? I didn't have his contact. I could only ask Andy. Uh, can you send me Turner's contact? Ask him to quit messing. What do you mean? <coughs> wow, that hurts my voice. He's messing with you? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Question mark? Dude, he's at my place right now. Picks or it didn't happen, bitch. I attributed all that to the lack of my sleep. We were going to go to the movies with Brady, Brady, but then it started pouring, so we uh, stuck inside. I was aware I had... Uh, the logical thing I could think of at the time was to keep an eye on the security monitor. Yeah, that sounds about right. Close that door, too.
Now that I think about it, I should have called the cops. But at the time, I was so engrossed in my own thoughts that... The idea had never entered my head. Uh, dude, wait, did you check out that article? It was Brady who told me about it. Oh, this is real sketchy. Oh. Ooh. Uh... Uh, 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 I felt my heart skip a beat. Uh, hiding place? I didn't know how long I was supposed to sit there for. Nobody specified how long I was supposed to sit there for. Do I have to do all that all over again? Oh, okay, okay, good, good, good. Whew. I am so glad for this save, save new, new save system. All right, I'll be right back once I get to the exact spot that I left off on. Whoa! Whoa! What? What? How the fu- Dude. Dude. No, not power out. Oh my goodness. Uh. Oh, okay. Ah, I felt my heart skip a beat. So when does she start coming down the hall? I froze and kept staring at the screen and... What? Where'd she go? 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 She was right outside the door to the room I was in. I thought my heart would pound right out of my chest. Okay, now what? Noah? Are you in there? I really missed you. Whatever's happening between us, we can work it out together. Don't play fucking dumb with me, Noah. I know you're in there. Open the door. We just need to talk. No, why is there an option to say something? Don't say anything. I've always been nothing but nice to you. But you always treated me like shit. I know everything. I, I know everything. I know you left me for her. Uh, This is exactly why. <laughs> but I love you. What about that? What about that? We deserve a second chance! You know I could turn you into the police for this. Do it and I will fucking kill both of you. Oh, shit, shit.
Let me fuck. Go, bitch! Run! Run, bitch! Go! Go! There's gotta be a faster run button. I left the house and ran down the block. My dad called the cops. Though by the time they arrived, she had already left the house. But I knew where she lived. Kara was one of the first people I had met on a dating site. She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing hard drugs. I tried to get her to help. I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day I had enough and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night. But of course the cops was the cop wasn't buying it. I wouldn't buy that shit either. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything. From that uh, from the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. But the thing that messed with me the uh, the most was the fact that that nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of the drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. Woo! Yeah, baby. Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh. So guys, today we learned a few things. One, there are crazy exes all over the world. Um, I can't say uh, not to date anybody on a dating app because I literally met my girlfriend from a dating app. Um, but <laughs> I can't say be careful when you do know who you're talking to before you start dating this person get to know them before anything serious anything intimate happens um because this could happen at first i was thinking okay it's, it's gonna be like home alone you know it's gonna be like somebody breaks into the house we have to survive the night no this is a crazy ex situation and um thank god i do not have one of these because I don't think I would be able to survive. I don't think I would be able to live long enough to make it out of the situation like this. Um, whew, man, those those two jump scares. This made me feel uneasy. If I had to rank them by which was the scariest so far, I would probably say Carson House is at the top, Home Alone is the second, and um, Norwood Hitchhike is last, just because I was still pretty fresh on everything that happened in Norwood Hitchhike. Uh, I I don't know. I feel like even if I hadn't seen anything surrounding it, I would have been pretty uneasy. Um, but it just wasn't all that scary to me. This def this had an upgrade. This episode was a big upgrade from the first and second chapters. And we still have two more to go. I'm excited to see what those two more are. I'm excited to see if there is a Fears to Fathom 2. Because this has a really big community. This is a really popular game. <laughs> Surprisingly. Not surprising anybody at all. But if there were a Fears to Fathom 2 with like five more episodes, I would for sure be all over that. And honestly, if you want to play this for yourself, um, it is on Steam. The first episode is free. The other two you have to pay for. But they're... They're really cheap. It's like three dollars. Um, but that's that's all I really gotta say. I enjoyed this one, and I'm I'm glad we are all caught up now. When episode four comes out, whatever that may be, I'm gonna be on it like rice on on a plate. <laughs> but I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I love you all. Stay safe out there. 
uh, be careful who you date. Be careful on the dating apps. Uh, be careful with blind dates. Be careful going to the clubs. Just be safe. Uh, take it easy. And big buddy out. Big buddy out. You guys like my shirt? Now that I think about it, it kind of it kind of fits the the situation. I mean, not really, but kinda. Cause they were all crazy girls in the um, the Doki Doki game. Anyways, I'm out. <laughs>